nobody liked my last video that's fine you don't have to like it it's not a popularity contest I don't make videos so that you know to please somebody I make videos because I have something to say and I know that for the most part nobody is prepared to hear it if that wasn't the case I wouldn't be making them because I'm not interested in saying something that you have already accepted and then I will just be repeating your own thoughts back to you which is what people want but you're not gonna get it here so the question for today's video is uh, what should you worship because last video was basically taking a giant shit on Christianity right and obviously if a Christian watches a video that shits on Christianity they're gonna assume a few things either I'm a Muslim which I'm not or I'm an atheist well which I am or I'm a Jew which I also am but they will feel attacked and they're immediately gonna try to put you into some kind of enemy category well because my viewers are conservatives obviously they're gonna automatically assume that I'm a communist because well I'm from Soviet Union where religion was banned so I'm an atheist communist Jew from Soviet Union right so that's the box they're gonna put me in I mean I don't blame them for jumping to this conclusion but you know that would be assuming that I'm like everybody from Soviet Union which uh, you know I wish I was normal but I'm not so what should you worship well what do your real enemies worship what do the elites worship they worship two things one themselves and two the planet so and what did the pagans worship they worship basically the planet as well so uh, sane people would worship either of the two things or both and that's themselves and the things that they need to survive so the planet is what they need to survive so uh, in the past they would worship separately let's say the sun the wind the thunder whatever that was paganism right and right now it's sort of like worshiping the planet which is or the maybe before the, they would call it Gaia or something it doesn't matter basically the elites who you know you could call them the Jews because they are but you could also call them the elites or you could call them globalists or transhumanists or international bankers or whatever you want to call them it doesn't matter they worship two things as I said they worship themselves and the planet uh, actually, so Gilad Atzman, who is a former IDF soldier from Israel, who renounced, you know, Israel and his own DNA as a Jew, he said that uh, what's interesting about Judaism is that it does not worship their own God, it worships Jews, which is pretty smart, because why would you worship things that don't exist worship something that fucking exists worship yourself and the things that you need in life which when you look when you consider the fact that religion is a collective phenomenon it's not individualistic you have to worship then your people and the planet because you know without the planet you have nothing and also I mean there's the problem with Christianity. The Christ Christianity neither respects the planet nor your people. So Christianity is always about sacrificing yourself for somebody else. Well, who is the somebody else? Like, it's the Jews, right? I mean, who else was there before? Like, the William, when they originally came up with Christianity, there was no Muslims, right? There was no nothing basically it 
it came from somewhere in the Middle East where you basically just had you, you had things like pagans which were exterminated, you had the Jews and you had the Christians. So like Christianity is all about turn the other cheeks, like uh, you, the rich man is never going to get to heaven, basically always sacrifice yourself for somebody else. There is no real place for earth worship or things like that in Christianity, like in paganism. And I guess that's why they now want to get rid of Christianity is because they like the the part about the part about sacrificing yourself. They want you to sacrifice yourself, but they don't like the part where you don't worship the planet, right? So, but we can't go back to paganism because that's kind of like white and racist. And Christianity is good because it's anti-racist. I mean, good for them, but it's bad because it's not pro Earth. So, basically. Christianity is bullshit, but I don't want to sound like an atheist, even though I am, but I understand like why some people would be against atheism, considering the history of atheism with the Soviet Union. So like what, let's say, could we replace Christianity with something other than atheism? Well, we should look, as I said, at what the elites themselves worship and model it after them as i said already like 10 times i, I don't mind repeating so they worship themselves meaning the jews worship not the god of the bible or even the god of their own religious texts they worship themselves when they conducted studies of uh, what makes somebody a jew the Overwhelmingly, basically, the result is that re uh, remembering the Holocaust. So, you are a Jew if you worship the Holocaust. So, like, you are a Christian if you believe that Christ died on the cross for, and then went to, like, and was resurrected and all this stuff. And you are a Jew if you believe that six million Jews were gassed by Hitler. So, it's basically the same thing, but but whereas Christians worship some Jew, namely uh, Jesus, Jews worship themselves. And they have this mythical, you know, event in history um, they call the Holocaust, which if you believe in it, that it actually happened, that makes you a Jew, basically. Well, no, it doesn't make you a Jew, but if you don't believe in it, then you're not a Jew. Something like that. So, like... They asked Jews a bunch of questions to determine what makes somebody a Jew, and this was the closest that they got to an answer. Actually, there is no answer. For example, like Trump is not a Jew, but all his children are Jews, or something like that. Or maybe they're married to Jews. Ivanka is a Jew herself, and all of his sons are married to Jews. But so, like, does that make Trump a Jew? You know, it's hard to say. But Jews are trying to figure this shit out. But regardless of what the answer is, the point is, as Gilad Asman said, Jews worship themselves, not God, but themselves. And globalists who are Jews obviously also worship themselves, but also the planet, because they're also transhumanists. So um, I guess they can't get too hung up on worshiping humans because they believe that humans uh, belong in a dustbin of history. On some level but this even like if we get replaced there by artificial intelligence and so on it would still have to be based on earth or at least some planet so they have to worship nature so I'm saying if you want to worship something you have to come up with a religion that is based on the worship of nature and your people so it would be somewhere between national socialism and paganism and not christianity there's like a lot of shit that's been said over the centuries about what kind of garbage christianity is and i'm not gonna go through all, all of those things like nietzsche wrote like entire books about it and you should probably read them i'm not here to like go into detail the analysis of this but just throw this question out there and if you if you want to know more, like I said, you can read Nietzsche and shit like that.